Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through some key features inside the funnel or website builder in Go High Level. Now, this is the ability to save drafts, restore them, or publish the ones that you like. Now, let's dive into my screen and I'll discuss a few use cases where this can be really helpful. All right, so there's a couple of scenarios. Let's say you are starting out with a new funnel. You do not have any domain set up. So I'll just mimic that scenario. What we'll do is we'll click on a new funnel right here and choose a template by Go High Level. I'm going to choose this yoga class one. So I'll just select that, hit continue. And once the funnel opens up, we'll make some changes. All right, so you can see that the template has installed. You can see that we do not have a domain attached right now. So I'm going to open up the editor and then we'll make some changes and see how we can save drafts and everything. Now that the editor has opened up, we have a couple of options on the top right of our screen. So with the save button, what it does is it saves a draft every time you do that. And when you hit publish, it basically publishes the live version to the domain that you have attached. Since we do not have a domain attached in this case, this is a brand new funnel. What we'll do is we'll just save a draft right now. Now, as you can see that we have a headline here, which is, are you sure you want to cancel your subscription? What I want to do is I want to just change the wording a little bit so we can differentiate between different versions. So I've just changed it to, do you want to cancel your subscription? Just hit save right here. And once it does that, it will save this version as a draft. Once it is saved, I want to draw your attention to this versions icon right here with this time icon. We'll click on that real quick. Now, this will basically pull up the version history and you can see all the versions and all the changes that you have made. This is the current draft that is right now. As you can see, current version here, it has the latest wording that we applied. And if I go back right here, you will see that it has the old wording. So you can see this can be really helpful because if you're making changes and let's say you accidentally made some change and also hit save accidentally, you can actually go back and restore a previous version. So if you just select a version from here, if you click on restore, it will actually restore that version back into your editor, which is really cool. All right, so we have version one stored. Now, if you wanna click on publish, because this is a brand new funnel, which does not have a domain attached, it will actually ask you to select a domain because it will publish the live version on that domain or the URL. So if you already have a domain, you can select that from the drop down. It will appear here. If you do not have one, you can click on add slash edit domains. It will open up a new tab, which will give you an option to select the domains right away. Another thing that you can do is if you go back to the version history, let's say you accidentally updated the draft and now you want to publish an old version. I'm not talking about saving a draft again. It's just like, let's say I want to publish the version number two. So what I can do is I can go back into version history, select version number two, and then hit publish here. And then it will basically push that version or that draft to the live URL or the domain. So this can be really helpful because sometimes you might have made changes in the live website. So what you can do is go back to version history, restore the previous version, and then hit publish again to publish that version or the draft to the live URL. So this will save you a ton of problems if you accidentally run into issues like this. Now let's discuss the second scenario where you already have a funnel or a website which already has a domain attached to it. So if you start editing that, let me just open this up in the editor mode. So in this scenario, because we already have the domain connected, if you want to make changes and you are satisfied that, okay, I want to publish this and push this to the live version, you can just hit publish and it will do the job within a few seconds. And again, if you are not ready to publish the changes to the live version, feel free to use the save version and you can have those drafts saved and you can access them anytime in the versions if you want to go back. And whenever you feel ready or if you are waiting for some feedback from the clients or maybe your internal team to go live, all you have to do is come back here and then hit publish and all your changes will be made live instantly. All right, so that was all about this video. I hope this video provided you some value. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we will get back to you.